think uh, between the family and John Poole, came from California, one of John's teammates in high school. Where are you, John? Uh, don't know that too many people know John, John any better than I think I do. Um, John's inspired me for years. This, this walk of inspiration that we're here to, to honor John for becoming, uh, coming into is, is no surprise, certainly not to me and not to most of you here, because you know John, and you know all that he's done and all he's meant to so many of us. I'd like to thank Athletic Director Scott Allison, President Mike Maxey, Trustee Joanne Casulo especially for making this day come to fruition. You might wonder how this all came about. About a year ago, I had a conversation with Andy O'Keefe. And many of you know the lacrosse team from the mid-late 70s has been going and playing golf. This year will be our 17th year in a row that we've met up in the, the fall to go play golf. Uh, golf's not while we go. Golf. Golf is only a small part of the day. It's the camaraderie that we shared back so many years ago that we relive and tell the same stories. Uh, they get better and better each year. Anyway, Andy said, Doug, for all that John, John has done, John's the, the cornerstone of Roanoke Lacrosse. His arrival on campus brought us to great heights not just during his playing time, but from then on to now. I'd also personally like to thank Betty. I've known Betty for 35 years, taught two of her children at North Cross. And I, I know Betty to not only be a world-renowned sculptor, but to also be just a, a loving and caring person and to, to work as little as I did with her to get this creation. Um, I'm just blessed to know you and thank you for your creative skills. Thank you very much. For those of you that didn't get a chance to see John on the field, uh, the sculpture represents the classic 1976 John Pirro. His senior year, the ponytail came off. John's nickname, Chief, among others, um, speaks volumes about who he was as a player, but it, it also speaks to who he is as a person. The Chief's a leader. He's confident. I don't know I've ever seen a picture of John where he's not moving forward. Or if he's not moving forward, there's the classic picture of John after John Cheek knocked his helmet off with John doing this to signal, signal the umpire to get this guy out of here. He was flamboyant, yes but he was a takeaway artist, literally feared by other attackmen in his day. Andy O'Keefe told me a story a couple hours ago about uh, John and what John had done for him when John coached him. And John, uh, John came to Andy, Andy's rising junior year, and said, Andy, you're not, never gonna be an All-American. You need a takeaway check. Is it okay, Coach Griffin, if I teach Andy that check? And so what John did then, after every practice, John took Andy O'Keefe up into the old handball courts, up in, uh, up in the old gym, and worked with him every day after practice to, to teach him John's takeaway check. Anybody got it? So, so Andy says, after a couple days of this, after practice, going up, trying, Coach, I can't do it, Coach, I can't do it. And John, being John, said, you can do it, let's go. And everybody knows the other side of that story. Andy was, became an All-American here at Rona. I'm the podium to hide now, I'm gonna steal my notes. We, uh, we all know that the last several years, John's been battling. His family's been with him through that battle. Many of you here, Help John in that battle. And this walk of inspiration to me was all locked in not only with his greatness as a cross player, but with that attitude he still has now battling the HD. I think 
think we're all very privileged to have been around John and learned from him, and I'm sure he's learned a lot from us. What I'd like to do before I stop is see a show of hands for everybody here that was a teammate of John's. If you would raise your hand, high school, college, teammate. And if you were a fraternity brother of his also, keep, keep those hands up, fraternity brothers. We are, we've got a lot of hands here, Chief. A lot of people came for, don't worry about turnaround, I'm seeing a lot of hands. <laughs> we congratulate you today, it's quite an honor. I'm sons, Joe and Nick, and Nick is going to speak uh, in response for John and the family. My dad's asked me to uh, say a couple words to y'all because I had. Uh, some of the best years of my dad's life have been spent on the campus and the crossfield of Odo College. He's asked me to thank each and every one of you all for your love, friendship, and your support. On a special note, we would like to thank Paul Griffin, his coach for the news. He was very instrumental in shaping my dad into an all-American crossbowler, as well as my biased opinion on the home. Paul was like a second father.